Hello Floss Tube, it's Wayward Stitcher here bringing you a very long overdue Floss Tube video. Um, as you probably remember from my last video, I told you guys that I was going to be going on holiday. Um, I just got back on Monday and it's Thursday now, so yeah, that was a very well-deserved holiday and um, I had a really great time. I went to a Supernatural convention. I am sure you all remember me talking about that because it was mentioned pretty much in like all of my last videos. <laughs> um, my girlfriend came for the whole week. Um, she flew up on the 1st of October and stayed until our Thanksgiving. Um, and yeah, so for those of you that are Canadians, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I slept during mine because I was so tired. We were up at 3 a.m. so that my girlfriend could be to the airport and um, yeah, I was so tired by the time I got home. I just slept. So, um, <clears throat> but um, I won't get too much into my holidays until the end of the video um, for those of you that want to stick around for it. Um, and for those of you that don't, then, you know, you don't have to watch it. I'll just stick it at the end and we'll just talk about stitching for now. Um, I have actually quite a bit to show you guys, um, today and, um, I have two new starts and I have a finish, like an FFO finish and, um, yeah, so let's get to it. Um, I'm sitting at my desk in my room now, um, so I have a swivel chair. I will be swiveling a lot today. <laughs> um, and I have a lamp on. Um, my stitching light is on um, to help with the light in the room. It's kind of, even though it's sunny outside, it's kind of, my room's always really dark for some reason. So, anyways, um, let's get to it. I think first I'll start off with my FFO since it's like right in front of me. Um, for those of you that might remember, I was stitching a Pokemon themed item for a Pokemon streamer that I watch quite um, quite often. Um, him and his new wife just moved into their new house and um, I kind of wanted to give him a little gift so I made him a um, Charmander magnet and he's all finished. I'm super happy with how he came out. The back is not perfect, but it works. No one's going to see the back once it's, you know, stuck on a refrigerator or wherever he chooses to put it. But so, yeah, I just glued some felt on there and these are like um, sticky back pieces of magnet so he can stick this wherever he wants. Um, his office is like Pokemon themed. So, yeah, I'll um, actually if there's any of you out there that like go on Twitch and, you know, enjoy watching you know um that kind of stuff i'll link him in the description below so that if any of you are interested in checking to see what he's all about you guys can do that and um yeah his name is dan and he also on twitch and youtube goes by a drive so i encourage you guys if you're pokemon fans to check him out for sure um so that is my finish um i think now i'll get into my new starts just because i think they're awesome um so my first new start um i started quite a while ago um but like i said you guys haven't seen it because i haven't done a video in like well over a month i think so um, I started Asian Scene by Dimensions, and I really love this piece. My, um, my great aunt had stitched this for my brother at one point, and I was really jealous and really wanted it stitched for me, but my aunt had, um, I really have an itchy ear, guys. I'm sorry. I, um, really wanted this stitched for myself, and, you know, but I had chosen something different for her to stitch for me, so when I saw this kit available, I picked it up, and I'm now I'm doing it for myself so I'll show you guys my progress there's not a lot done on it but I I'm enjoying it so and I think sitting at my desk is definitely um, better for me as a as a choice uh, I think it goes this way yeah 
So this is my little start on Asian scene. And I really hope the lighting is okay, guys, because, um, you know. So this is the Buddha's shoulder, and he has a little bit of mountain that goes in beside him there. So you'll have to excuse me. I'm just getting used to using this as a... Maybe I'll fold this over a bit there. So, yeah, we, we've started, and I really can't wait to get this finished. I really like it. I'm really enjoying working on it. I haven't worked on it recently. Most of my whips haven't been worked on um, because I'm just sticking to one project right now because that's, you know, what I feel like doing. So um, that's what I'm going to do for now on um, is just work on whatever's calling to me. And this one particular project has been calling to me like pretty much nonstop for the last couple weeks. So that's all I've been working on. Um, second new start. is in my lovely supernatural bag that I take with me. Um, pardon me. I take this bag with me when I go places and I put my stitching in it. So, um, this is broken, so I have to do it the hard way. So I started a project out of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2016 magazine. And I started Good luck trying to show this to you guys without showing you the pattern. This will be fun. Um, actually, never mind. I can do it. I started Boo by Ursula Michaels. <clears throat> I love Ursula Michaels designs. I think they are super adorable. And I'm stitching this on a 28 count um, Lugana. And this is my start. So I'm really pleased with how this is um, going at this point. Um, and I did my first speciality stitch. This is my um, Algerian eye stitch. You guys can't really see it because it's not focused very well, but. I've done my first speciality stitch and I'm very pleased with it. So that's my little start. I'm hoping hoping to have this done by Halloween. That's the goal. I don't know if it'll be fully finished by Halloween, but I'm hoping it'll be like finished by Halloween. And I'm still on the fence about what kind of um, finishing I actually want to do for it. Whether it's going to be like an ornament or a flat fold or I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. So. And it's such a weird shape, like it's a circular shape project, so I don't really know what to do as far as that goes. Okay, so now that you guys have seen my new start, I will show you guys my whips. Um, there's a lot of haul in this video too, so I'll also put that at the end. Um, what have we got? My... Merlin, you guys haven't seen Merlin in a while. My dragon by Joan Elliott, my magic dragon. I put a lot of work into him too. He's looking very good right now. Um, and I'm stitching this on 14 count Ada in April Showers by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And this is where I'm at this point. So we've got um, some cloud action going on and I was working on filling in his wings so as you can see I filled in this part of his wing and I'm starting to work at the top and going down that way and I think I mentioned this before um, but there is little dots in his wings I don't know if you can see little specks here where there's just supposed to be filled in with white um, thread I'm not putting white thread in there I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, but I am going to either be putting Kranich in there or beads. Um, I'm still, like I said, not 100% sure which of those two I'm going to do, but I will be doing one of them. So if you guys can let me know in the comments below what you think would look better, um, 
Let me just tell you the colors that are in his wings. So if you guys can like give me ideas as to what color of Cranix or PTV or beads, like Mill Hill beads would go best in there. The colors in his wings, if I'm not mistaken, are not DMC 912, 954, and 955. So, um, some Cranic PTB or uh, Mill Hill beads that would look good with that color range. I would greatly appreciate it because I'm not sure. And I'm, I have to order things online, so I can't, like, take my project to the store and, and, and look myself. So, if you guys can help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so the next one that I have to show you guys, I'm going to have to get up to the... It's flat in a box at this point but my fall fairy by dimensions I did put a lot of work in her since last time you guys saw her I've been getting into this thing where I I pick up a project and I really just want to work on that one project for like a solid good couple of weeks and um I mean, I'm okay with that. I apologize that I keep going out of the camera, but I have to, to get So, lots of my cross stitches are flat in a box at this point, just to keep them protected. But, you'll have to excuse the part threads in the back, but this is where I'm at with my Fall Fairy. So I've worked all the way across to the other side of the pattern. I put her hand in and I did some more back stitching in this corner here. But she's looking pretty good. Like I said, there's a park thread in the back here. Sorry about that, but yeah. She's looking pretty good, I would say. I'm very happy with her. Um, I'm going to try to adjust this light just a bit. I don't know if it's going to help or make things worse. Um, but she's looking very good. I'm very pleased with my progress on her so far. So that's that. Okay, and then the next whip, I can show you guys now because my girlfriend's actually seen it um, while she was here visiting. I never finished it, but she knows it's happening. She knows it's being stitched for her, so now you guys can see it. Um, I am stitching her a Sailor Moon cross stitch um, pattern that I got off of spritestitch.com. It was a um, forum that I was in long before I started doing floss tube and stuff like that. So um, I'll link the website below, um, and you got and it might or might not be there. They also have a Wikipedia where all their patterns are posted. So if you guys. Are interested in that this is where I'm at with Sailor Jupiter I feel like I should be putting something behind days so that you guys can see better but I didn't quite finish um, her skin obviously and I used a DMC variegated floss for the background it was supposed to just be white but I thought you know what I have this variegated floss so I'm going to use it and um, yeah that's where she's at at this point so I'm very pleased with that. I, you know, I made a boo-boo. I was two rows too far with the black, so I have to fix that. But yeah, hopefully maybe by Christmas she can have this. Um, I don't feel like working on it. Just big blocks of color I have issues with because it's so boring. And the next one you guys have to see is my Sam Winchester, which I don't believe I had shown you guys and I might have worked on since my last video, but forgive me if it's still the same as the last time you guys saw it. I just figure it's here and I'll show you guys anyways. Um, lots of progress going on here. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's such a mess with my threads here. I don't know what happened. But this is my progress on my Sam Winchester piece. Whoops. Let's get this sorted out here. So he's looking pretty good. Um, so again, this is being stitched on the 28 count um, Lugana. Even weave, whichever. I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff. So yeah. 
looking pretty good. I'm happy with this. And yes, no, Jared did not get to see this when I saw him this past weekend, um, for obvious reasons, because it's not then. Um, I'm not even sure about next year. We'll see. Things have been pretty crazy. Um, so there's that. And the last whip that I have to show you guys is the one that I've been working on like nonstop because it's the only one that I've been interested in lately. And that is my um, Thomas Kincaid Disney Dreams Bambi's first year. Let me get it out of the bag. This is what it looks like. And like, I love this guys. Like I couldn't wait to come back for my holidays just so that I could work on it. <laughs> so there's been quite a bit of progress since last time you guys saw it. I'm pretty happy. So we are this far. So I started working, I'm gonna try to stick something in the back so you guys can see better. Here we go. Um, so I've got myself working to the top left hand corner so that I can start filling in and doing the top page. Um, oops, didn't mean to show that to you guys, but, um, let's see if we can, I just turned it off. If that helps or doesn't help, maybe I'll just turn it off. That. Yeah, let's just turn it off. <laughs> So that's where I'm at right now. I'm working up to this top corner and hoping to get that lightning bolt in um, from this corner. I really like the lightning bolt, so that's what my aim is to get to. So doing real well on the Thomas Kincaid Disney Dreams piece. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I'll be working on it again today um, for a couple of hours. My mom has to go to the the um hairdressers today she'll be there for like an hour so i'll take this with me and work on it or at least try to anyways so okay i think that's it as far as whips and new starts go so now and that's on the floor <laughs> um i will show you guys my haul oh god that's awful oh oh Sorry, I was trying to get it to be a little brighter in here because it's so dark. Anyway, technical difficulties, my apologies. <laughs> okay, so now I'll go with the haul. Um, and the first bit of haul that I'm going to show you guys is actually on my tablet. So, my brand new tablet that I got from a friend. Um, so, um, just recently, yesterday actually, um, my birthday was on the 5th of October. And I thought, you know, I did get some money for my birthday. And while that money was supposed to go towards the convention, which it kind of did, um, I also decided that for my birthday I was going to buy myself something cross stitch related. Um, so I went on Amazon and I purchased another one of the Thomas Kincaid Disney Dreams kits. And I purchased Lion King. So yeah, I love this one. Just because there's like that sky though, guys, come on, you have to admit, the sky is gorgeous and we love it. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting that. Hopefully in the new year, I will be doing that. So that is online purchases. Um, second bit of um, fun for you guys, I have my first batch of Moe's Sale flosses which I have my girlfriend to thank for that. So thank you so much, baby, for getting those for me. I know you watch my videos. Um, so I will show these to you guys. Now, they came in this really cool little baggie. And I'm not sure if that was a, um, if that was my girlfriend that put them in this baggie or if they come this way um, from Mo. I'm not sure. But because I've never purchased from them myself, so I don't really know. But I will go through these guys with you guys real quick. I'm in love with these flosses and I can't wait to buy my own. Um, so we have Christmas tree and I'll bring this. Maybe this will help a little bit. Oh yeah, that helps a bit. That's pretty. We have Kingston. That's really pretty. I like this color a lot. 
Hawkeye. This is, I guess, from her Avengers series, the Avengers series. I have a couple like that. Um, we have Captain America. It's really nice, pretty red, blue, and white, pink, blue, and white. We have Rio de Janeiro. I really like this one a lot, the blues. Notting Hill. It's really nice. There's gray at the end there. Hulk. Here's another one from the Avengers series. Bin Shay or Bin, Bin I have no idea how to even pronounce that, guys. Like really, but it's really pretty with the blues and pinks. Some gray. Maleficent. I love this color. The dark purple with the pinks. Ooh, so pretty. <clears throat> Honolulu. I really like this one. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. I really love this one. And then we have Baby Boy. It's a nice like pale blue gray to white. Gelato. Gelato. I like this too with the pinks. And this pink is really showing up like hot pink. It's not really like that, but it's really pretty. Um, Frollo. <laughs> I like this color too. Like bright purple at the end. Oh, and the cat wants in, so you're going to have to excuse me for a moment. Candy corn. I love this one. I love candy corn, actually. And my girlfriend thinks I'm gross because I like it, but I love it. And then the last one is fall. So those are really nice, pretty, um, pretty colors from Mo's sale. And I can't wait to use them. I have a couple projects in mind for some of the floss colors. But, um, yeah, now I have to let the cat in just a second. She was meowing, but she wasn't there. Okay. Um, and then I did get a friend of mine, oh, here she comes. A friend of mine, um, had somewhere along the line gotten this big bag of, like, weirdly named flosses. Um, I'm not sure what I'll use them for, but I have these. I'm sure I'll find somewhere to use them, but as of right now, I have no idea. Um, so, well, there's that. Um, now here comes a long portion of, uh, the video. I have, um, a humongous stack of magazines that I had gotten. Um, some I purchased and some I didn't purchase. Some were given to me by a client of mine at work. Um, she knows I cross-stitch and she could, she no longer wanted them. So she, um, gave them to me, which I'm super happy about. But the ones that I did purchase, I got, um, now if there's any of these that you guys see that you want me to do a specific, um, flip through of, I really don't mind, as you know. So, um, just tell me in the comments below which magazine and I will definitely do that for you. Um, I bought the October-November issue of Cross Stitch Gold. It's really cute squirrel on the front. And that came with this cute little Lavender Love um, freebie chart. So there's that. And then I also bought um, uh, the September 2016 issue 219 of Cross Stitch Crazy. With a lovely Egyptian lady on the front there. By Leslie Tier, one of my uh, favorite designers. And that came with some free metallic floss. And this booklet of Forest Friends charts, which I thought was super cute. So, there's that. And now for all these magazines that I got um, from this lady at work, uh, one of the clients at work. They're really old magazines, so, um, yeah. So, these ones are cross-country stitching. Um, this is August 1994 you guys they're super old um cross country stitching april 2000 
cross country stitching uh, October 1997. Cross country stitching uh, February 1995. This is the cross stitcher um, February 1999. There's this little um, booklet of Christmas favorites that came with the uh, Love of Cross Stitch. And the back. It's got a couple of little jar lid, which you could like turn into like Christmas tree ornaments or something. And then there's Christmas Aglow, a supplement with the Love of Cross Stitch. So there's a couple of cute little patterns in here. Um, there's a little Santa. And of course, if come all ye faithful. Um, and some little metallic thread tree ornaments there. So, there's that. Um, for the love of cross stitch, November 1997. For the love of cross stitch, March 1998. For the love of cross stitch, September 1997. For the love of cross stitch, 1997 of July. So these are all the love of cross stitch now, I think. With the chickens, the hens. Um. September 1998. I'm going to turn this back on. I think that was helping. Um, January 1998. Santa? Yeah, that's definitely helping. I'm apo I apologize for the, uh, the little technical difficulties with lighting, guys. I'm just, this is new for me. I'm trying it out for the first time. Um, November 1998. And the cat's playing with a bag. Of course she is. May 1998. This one's kind of cute. Um, July 1998. November 2000. March 2000. July of 2000. January 1999, March 1999, March 2001, that's cute, oh here's, here's, here's a nice one, I, th I thought of Colbin when I saw this, um, if you watch my videos, Colbin, you'll see why, um, May, it doesn't say a year on it. Hmm. Mm. Two thousand one, May two thousand one. So the bunnies. <laughs> um, July two thousand one. September two thousand and one. I really like this Santa. January 2002. Maybe those of you that love Christmas. November 2001. May 2002. March 2002. Here's a Paul Levon, guys. I... No, I'm, I, I don't know how I remember, like, when I first saw this booklet cover, I was like, that's a Paula Vaughn. I don't stitch Paula Vaughns, but thanks to you guys, I'm kind of learning my designers now. Um, so May 2000, with a beautiful Paula Vaughn on the front. For those of you that love Paula Vaughns. Um, January 2001. Cute little angel. 
Um, May 1999. September 1999. Um, November 1999. Here's a little sampler. Here's another cute little Santa. I think this one's cute. January 2000. That's adorable. And the last one is July 1999. Oops. A little hummingbird. So if there's any of those magazines that you guys are interested in seeing um, a little more openly, let me know. And I will for sure do that. Um, flipping through all of them I think would take like forever. But if there's... Um, a couple that you guys are really interested in. I have no problem doing that. Um, so that is uh, magazines. We'll just leave them here. <laughs> um, so I think as far as stitching goes, that's it, guys. So um, ugh, God, it's a light situation. I don't even know. Um, so that's it for um, stitching stuff. So for those of you that um, don't really want to stick around to hear my supernatural story, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. And for those of you that are still here and still interested in hearing my supernatural stories, I'll try to make it quick because we're already at half an hour here. Um, I had a great time at the Supernatural convention. My girlfriend and I were there for four days. We went down to Toronto on the Thursday. And we met up with a friend of hers that came um, via train from New York. Um, so we did that and we all went out to dinner at a restaurant called The Loose Moose, which was fantastic. The food was really great. We had, um, we all had the same dinner. We had like this grilled cheese mac and cheese sandwich with french fries. And, oh my gosh, like I would do it again. Um, and then while we were at dinner, we decided that we were going to randomly go somewhere and uh, go there for dinner, or not for dinner, sorry, we were going to find some place random nearby that was kind of fun that we could go do just, just to kill a couple of hours or whatever. So within walking distance of this restaurant, there was the CN Tower and there was Ripley's Aquarium, which was like right next to the CN Tower. So um, we decided that we weren't going to do the CN Tower because I have a thing about heights and walking on the glass floor not really my thing so we didn't do that but we went to Ripley's Aquarium and we had a really good time there um and I'll show you guys what I got myself as a little bit of a, a little bit of a gift for going I got myself this little penguin <laughs> she's super cute <laughs> there was no penguins at the aquarium but I thought she was cute so I got her um, and so we got to pet some stingrays and we got to like have our fingers cleaned by shrimp, which was kind of interesting. Um, anyway, so that was really fun. And, um, prior to getting to the, um, aquarium, we ran into Spider-Man, um, Toronto's very own Spider-Man. He's actually, um, a street performer um that you know does um collects tips and stuff like that and we'll take his picture with you and all that i'll link him down below um you guys can check out his instagram or his twitter or whatever it's peter parkour he was a very cool dude um and so if you guys are in like the toronto area Keep an eye out for him because he will be up high where you can't really see him and you're not really, if you're not paying attention and you're not looking for him, I almost didn't see him. So um, if you guys are in that area or you're going to visit Toronto, just, you know, I mean, it's getting a little cooler out now. I can assume that he might not be doing it for too much longer, but um, yeah, just keep an eye out for him because he was super cool. Um, so yeah, I'll link his Instagram down below and his Twitter if I can find it. Um... And so, um, so we did the aquarium. It was great. We saw some sharks and turtles and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then after that, we just went back to the hotel and we did our registration. Um, and then the nerves got a little, you know, we started getting nervous. We were getting excited. Um, and so... By the time we got registered, we went into the, it was cl probably close to 10 o'clock on 
Thursday night and we went into the um, vendors area where they're selling like shirts and pictures and posters and all that kind of stuff. So my girlfriend actually bought me this shirt of Sam that says, I lost my shoe. I love this shirt because I think Bad Day at Black Rock is one of my favorite episodes and I feel so sorry for Sam getting into all the trouble that he gets into um, in that episode. So um, anyway, I got the shirt um, and I also purchased myself a calendar of just Castiel um, that's got some really cool pictures on the back. Some of them have already been printed in previous calendars, but, you know, it's Castiel. How could you say no to Castiel? And then I also purchased some um, prints. Excuse me, please. Which I'm not sure. Oh, here they are. I, so I purchased some prints because I knew at the time that I was going to be getting Jared Padalecki's autograph. So I got some um, prints of Jared as Sam so that I, you know, had something for him to autograph if I, you know, I had brought in, um, some other things with me, like the, um, entertainment, the EW magazine that they won the cover of. I brought this with me and I brought, um, a calendar with me, um, cause there was some pictures of Sam in here as well that I thought were kind of interesting. So I thought, you know, I'd bring this with me. So I had some things to sign, but I, I bought prints too. Um, and I also found out while we were out to dinner with my girlfriend's um, best friend that we, she was offering um, Misha Collins' autograph. So I was like, you know, I already have his autograph, but you know what? It, I'll get another one. Sure, why not? Like, and I told her, I said, if nobody else is interested in getting it, I'll take it from you then. Like, because I don't want to take it from somebody that, you know, doesn't have it or whatever. So... By the time the time came around, nobody would, had had mentioned anything about it, so I got Misha's autograph a second time. But I had bought in some prints just because I knew I was getting his autograph, so I bought this one. I apologize for the glare. And this one. Oh, that glare is absolutely terrible. And then, um, I, like I said, I went and I got some prints of Jared, um, as Sam. So, got this one. I don't know. And this one. Oh, really, I'm sorry for the glare, guys. And this one, I really like this one. And one of Sam and Dean. And this one. So I spent quite a bit of money on prints. Um, probably, well, uh, let me see. I probably spent a good 50 or $60 just on prints alone. Um, which, you know, I don't really mind because they're awesome. And you guys saw the ones I have hanging on my wall in my uh, floss tube videos. Um, so I got these and then guys, I will explore, uh, more to talk. I will tell you guys about my photo op stories. Um, at the time when I traveled down to Toronto, I was only going to be getting Jared's photo op, Jensen's photo op and Misha's. I walked away with three more. Um, while I was there, I purchased Osric Chow, um, and my girlfriend purchased Richard Spate Jr. for me and Castiel. So I got my pictures taken with Misha twice, um, and um, I also met Richard Spate Jr. and Osric Chow. Um, <clears throat> so for those of you that aren't really 100% familiar with who the actors are, um, Osric Chow played Kevin Tran, if you guys remember Kevin. Um, he was kind of like season seven, eight, nine, that arc somewhere. Um, and then Richard Spade Jr. plays Gabriel, so the trickster. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll go through my photo ops last, but I also, um, my girlfriend had bought a t ticket a while back for, um, Ruth Connell's autograph. Now Ruth Connell 
is um the dog wants on the bed. Ruth Connell um, plays Rowena, who is a witch, but also is Crowley, the king of hell. Um, she is his mother. So I got the um, wonderful pleasure of meeting Ruth. Excuse me. She was a very sweet lady. Um, and she was pr pretty much exhausted at the convention. Um, and I remember asking her how she was holding up and she said that she was out of her head. <laughs> but um, this is the autograph that I got from her. Nice and personalized from Miss the lovely Ruth. So that was nice. And then I also got the autograph of um, Richard Spate Jr. But it was for my girlfriend. So... Um, this is the autograph and Richard was very sweet he was very nice um, my girlfriend had at a previous convention done this thing for me where she had you know gone to him and said oh this is for my girlfriend yada yada I did the same thing with him this time so that was that was good and then I also got Ostrich Chow's autograph so the same lady the same good, wonderful friend that had given me Misha's autograph also gave me Osric's. So I met Osric twice that day. And we talked a little bit of Pokemon Go. Uh, because uh, for those of you that are familiar with Osric, he loves Pokemon Go. Um, and plays quite frequently, I think. So um, I found out that him and I share the same um, Pokemon Go team. We're on Team Valor. So yay us. And I think that was it for autographs that aren't on my photo ops. So I will show you guys my photo ops now. So the first photo op that I got done was actually with Misha. No, not Misha. Sorry. It was with Osric. My first photo op was with Os Osric. And um, he was super awesome, super sweet. And I love the way our picture turned out. Um, so whoop. I'm trying to keep these protected. I need to get frames for them, honestly. My photo with Osric. It turned out very well, and I'm very happy with it. And Osric was super sweet. And then after that, I, I went and got my uh, photo done with Richard Spate Jr. He was also very sweet and very nice. God, these, these men are so tall, I can't even believe it. Guys, I can't. And then I met the lovely Misha Collins on Saturday. Um, and the funny story about Misha, I got up to him and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Misha. It's like, woo, it's Misha. So I, I just, I walked up to him and I was just like, from behind, please? Like, I meant like to ask for a hug from behind, but I don't even think I mentioned the hug part. <laughs> anyway, and then later on in the day, he autographed the photo op for me, so. This is one of my favorite pictures, myself with Misha. I love this picture. The girls, the volunteers there were like, oh, it's like you went to prom with Misha. And I was like, yeah, that's true. It's totally like I went to prom with Misha. And then the next day, um, Sunday was the day that um, Misha was doing his Castiel photo ops. And that was at like 8.30 in the morning. So um, I went and got my picture done with Castiel. So that was that was fun. Interesting. <laughs> and then I met the wonderful Jensen Ackles um, on Sunday. Jensen was very sweet, uh, very huggable, by the way, um, and extra handsome in person, guys. Like you think looking at him on the poster is yummy? We uh guys, seriously, Jensen Ackles. Jensen Ackles. I met Jensen Ackles. It was super awesome. He was so sweet. And I saw him again at the photo, uh, the autograph table. He, um, I got his autograph last minute on Sunday and, um, he signed my calendar for me. So that was very, very nice. So he was, he was super sweet. And then guys, and then the highlight of my weekend was meeting Jared Padalecki. I, Every time I look at this picture, I almost cry because I remember what he said to me at the photo op line. 
or at the, you know, he had some bodyguards in the room with him. He had, um, people from I Am Alive, um, that organization, and, um, they were helping people that were having, you know, hard times with anxiety or their depression or, you know, were having just general difficulties with being in the same room as the actors. And anyway, um, I was having a hard time, it was getting really warm, I was like fanning myself, being like, okay, I was like trying to keep myself from crying because I knew, meeting everybody else, I was totally fine, but I knew as soon as I saw Jared Padalecki that things were just going to go, yeah, I, so I started getting a little warm, I started fanning myself, trying to get myself not to cry because I did not want to be somebody that got to him and like broke down in front of him and just like cried like I did not want to make a mess of myself I didn't want to embarrass myself I didn't want to cause people for uh cause trouble for the people behind me in line so they were very good they were very helpful um kind of talked me through it tried to keep my mind off of um what I was about to do um <laughs> and they're like oh it's it's just like going for a walk and I'm like mm, a walk with Jared Padalecki uh, yeah anyway so I got up to Jared and I had tears rolling down my cheeks because at this point like I had like I wasn't like crying crying but like the tears were there and they were coming down my cheeks and he looked at me and he's like hi how are you and I was like looking up at him because he's so freaking tall I was like I'm actually like really nervous right now and like the tears were just streaming down my face and he's like he's like don't worry I got you babe and I was like Jared Padalecki just called me babe. What the hell is life right now? Like, <laughs> he broke me. He broke me by telling me he had me and by calling me babe. I just couldn't even. So I um, had gone into expressing to him about um, my girlfriend and I, which I haven't told you guys yet, but hello. We are... Um, not really engaged but kind of um so I expressed to Jared that and he told me he was like super happy for me and he said congratulations and told me that marriage is like totally awesome and so he was very sweet about that and then I worked myself around the other side of him because I wanted to make sure that my ring made it into the picture um with him and um he told me he loved my shirt I was wearing one of his I am enough shirts and um this is our photo guys my photo with Sir Jared Padalecki and I am, um, I, and there's my, my ring in the picture. I cannot tell you guys how much this whole experience meant to me, meeting Jared. Um, and later on in the day at the autograph table, I told him how much knowing that he had my back meant to me. And I told him that we, as a group, as a family, as fans, you know, we all have his back too. And that we are very thankful to have him. So... That's it, guys. Those are my photo ops, my autographs. Um, I still haven't shown you guys the autograph I got from Jensen. Um, but I cannot wait to do this whole thing again next year. I really just cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure my girlfriend's coming again. We're going to do it up. And this is my Jensen Ackles autograph. So, yeah, guys, that's it, you know. And if there's any other things that you guys want to know um you know just let me know um you guys want some pictures I can you know there's some pictures on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram I do have some pictures on Instagram um if you want my Facebook all of my photos from the whole weekend are on Facebook so um you know as long as I know who you are and I know that you're a follower of mine from you know floss tube and Instagram I don't mind sharing my Facebook with you guys so um that's it guys that's that's Torcon and that's my whips my my finishes and my new starts and I hope to see you guys all again very soon bye